Good morning and welcome to a new vlog. Um, today I'm going for a photo shoot. I'm photographing a teacher from Fiona, which is one of the big hotels in Miami Beach. So I've got my um, t-shirt on, my Sacred Flow photography t-shirt and some leggings. Um, so I'm just about to head there now. I'll try and get some videos with this to show you around a little bit and show you the hotel because it is beautiful. Um, and maybe we'll go for a walk on the beach or something. Um, but anyway, this video I'd like to be a weekly vlog. So hopefully we'll see how I got on. But anyway. Ooh. Alice is protecting us. Thank you, Alice. Anyway, I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update before it gets too dark and I can't film. Um, so I've had a busy day today. I obviously had the photo shoot this morning with the yoga girl. Um, I got back at about 2 o'clock. It was actually a long shoot. It was supposed to be half 11 till half 12. Ended up being until about half 1, so I got home about 2. Anyway, I... Um, edited the video that I filmed yesterday, which is a vlog, just like a day in the life kind of video. Um, we went to Party City and then we went and recorded a video and there's some clips of Alice as well just being super cute. I had to leave her in there. So I edited that and put that on YouTube and that's now live, so you can go and watch that. Um, it would have been live today, which is last Wednesday for you guys watching this. I also made the YouTube thumbnail on Canva and I also created a Instagram post on there as well. Um, so I'm posting these every time I post on YouTube just so that people see that I'm posting videos on a consistent basis and they can kind of see what the video is about without having, you know, without watching the video so they then go to YouTube to watch them. Um, I'm thinking about doing a Canva kind of tutorial on how I use it with my business um, so if you think that would be a good idea please let me know in the comments below um, and I'll probably film that soon for you guys. I also ordered a mug for one of my photo shoots on Sunday so because they booked in on Saturday when I had that event they got a free mug so they've chosen their images and I've ordered that for them so I'll show you that as well. And I ordered the two metal prints for them that should be delivered in the next couple of days. So they're metal prints and I use Pro DPI for those because they are the best in the business at metal prints and they're like super high quality and amazing beautiful prints. I think we're about to go for a walk and watch the sunset so I might take you with us so you can see the sunset on the beach because it's so beautiful and so nice. So I also just received a review on Google from my photo shoot on Sunday with a little Frenchie Molly and I thought I'd read it out to you because it's such a nice one. It says, our experience was awesome. We had so much fun taking lots of, lots of pictures. Rosie was great with our pup and we got a wonderful selection of portraits. So that's so nice for me but it's also great for future clients to be able to read that on Google. Um, it's something that I encourage a lot of you to do if you have businesses. It's something I need to go back and get everyone from last year to do because I should have done it straight away and I didn't. And now I kind of have 100 photo shoots without reviews. Um, so top tip, if you can get people to leave a review straight away, that is awesome. While it's still fresh in their mind, they're still excited. And also it means you don't have to go back and then pester people like, you know, a year later asking for reviews. Just thought I'd add that in there as a little tip for you all. And... fan on but it's Wednesday which means that I changed my braces so I'm currently on the Smile Direct Club um, braces journey like straightening my teeth so what I do is I put my old pair of braces in the bag that they came in and I seal them up with a little piece of tape and I keep all these I think it's more just like souvenirs like to see how far I've come like to, to see the beginning and then up until the end and then I've got my new one here which is month four week two so I'm just going to rip that off. So I've just cleaned my teeth before bed, so they're nice and clean. And then the easiest way I find to pop them in, I'm going to do a whole video on these by the way, so um, let me know down below if that's something you're interested in and like this video. But basically what I tend to do, I find that they're quite stiff when they're dry, so I put them under the water for only 30 seconds, only quickly, and then I push them in I find that makes them a little bit easier to put in. So I'll just do that now. So I'm going to start with the top pair. So 
So they always feel very tight when you first put in a new, a new set. But that went in quite easily, although they do feel quite tight. The bottom pair I usually find a bit harder because my teeth are so wonky here, these ones. That one in particular. So I do find that one quite um, sensitive, let's say. So I'm going to put this one in as well. See, that was a lot harder to put in that one. Oh, that hurts. But I do have this, um, I don't know what it's called. It's basically, um, it's basically spongy and you bite on that to make sure that your uh, braces go on properly. So I'm gonna use that because you can see here, there's too much space at the top there. So you need to push that down. And if you bite on anything hard, you can damage the braces. If you bite on your finger, it can hurt. So I always use this, keep one spare with me all the time. And you might actually, I don't know if you'll hear because of this, but sometimes you can hear the crunching of it, like the plastic, like going on my teeth. But I just bite on it. All the way from the front to the back on each side. that's it I do find it's better to do this at night time because then in the morning your teeth are already used to having the braces on if you do it in the morning you're gonna have the whole day of being like in pain and noticing that you've got new braces in whereas I can sleep quite easily with new ones in um, so I would recommend doing that if you do decide to get them so put them in at night time just makes it a little bit easier um, I know it's get a little bit of a lift sometimes when I change braces because they're a little bit different and maybe there's a little piece that's sticking out um, but that's it, just thought I'd show you and I will see you tomorrow. Oh my goodness, I forget that we live here because I spend obviously so much time indoors like working and then we come out for sunset but because it's such a beautiful day today we came out at lunchtime and it's so lovely. Like it's crazy that I don't come out here every day. I think maybe I need to start doing that because it's just so nice. Feeling grateful. happened since I was on the beach I had a nap and listened to some music I actually listened to Ziggy Albert which is my favorite music at the moment it's so lovely to listen to um, and I napped on the beach which oh my god I love it just gives me do you know how like people have them things that just gives them life snoozing on the beach is the thing that gives me life I just love it so much a little bit burnt so I think I'm gonna be sore probably tomorrow but I loved it anyway it was worth it um, came home and showered and then I've just recorded a video which will already be live talking about the Canon 22mm f2 lens so if you're interested in learning about camera equipment and what I use for my videos you can already watch that I'll leave it linked down below and we were planning on going to some yoga this afternoon well this evening but because it's such a nice day outside I kind of just want to go for a walk on the beach or maybe walk down to the water and just spend some time with Jeremy on his own without a crowd of people so I'm probably gonna do that this evening so I might take you along um, yeah. Friday so last night we just went and watched the sunset on the beach which was lovely I'll insert some footage because it was a really nice evening and the sky was lovely and pink and then the water was obviously turquoise colours and it was a really nice evening just to chill out together um, and then we just had dinner and watched what did we watch? Hitch. Oh yeah we watched Hitch that Will Smith film I haven't watched it in a couple of years and I love that film it's so funny anyway today we um I'm getting a couple of jobs done. I need to send out an email about my Easter photo shoots. And we're about to record a podcast with a friend who's... Where is he now? 
France. Oh, he's in France. He's in France, we travels a lot. So we're going to do like a remote recording. So it's our first time doing that, so I hope it records properly. <laughs> so I'm sat here with my um, microphone and Jeremy's going to be over there. And then he's going to be obviously in France. So we'll see how that goes. But um, so I'm not sure when his podcast will be um, online and available to listen to, but he's in two weeks. But he has become a millionaire while well, he's created multi million dollar businesses three times, I think. Um, so it's going to be super inspiring and super like interesting to see how he's done that and also how he comes back from rock bottom from losing everything to then building another multi million dollar company. So, um, looking forward to speaking to him. Obviously, the links for the podcast are down below, so please go and listen to that if you're interested in his podcast or the other ones that we do. So, we finished recording the podcast with Alex, and then we saw a dog that we might look after in the end of March. It's like a little um, mutt dog, like a mixed dog, that was adopted from the Humane Society actually about a month ago, called Lulu, and she seems super sweet, so we'll probably have her towards the end of the month. And then we've got the free trolley over to, what's this place called, this area? Normandy. Normandy Island. Because there's a sushi place here that, it opens at 6pm, but it's always, there's always a queue outside by like half six, so like, okay, we're going to buy the, by half five I mean. So I thought, okay, we're going to be there super early. So we got here at five and there's no one else here. So now we look silly being here like an hour early. It's now 20 past and there's still no one here. <laughs> so probably just could have come up at six, but last time we came at six, um, we were in the queue and everybody else got a spot and then we had to sit and wait like an hour for everyone to finish eating because it's such a small space, there's like 20 seats available, something like that. Um, so I've come here for dinner, part of our like weekend away because it's like probably one of our favourite restaurants in Miami. So yeah, I'm so looking forward to it. I'll show you inside when we get inside as well. It's the one that has like the boats that go around. like one of the like Miami shops and I'm gonna buy one of these for my walks in the morning just because I think it's super like keep the sun off my face but I can also put my hair up because usual caps I can't so good morning guys so I just wanted to fill you in a little bit with what happened yesterday just because I filmed little clips here and there but I didn't actually do any like vlogging per se like talking to the camera um I still find it super hard to do out in public when especially when there's lots of people um but anyway we went to the design district Good afternoon, I just thought I'd check in. Um, so it's a little bit windy, so I do have the microphone muff thing on. Hopefully it's not too bad. But we had pancakes this morning and had a nice relaxing morning. And then we've now come to the design district. We've actually come to one of the car parks because it's got an awesome like pattern on the floors. And we wanted to get some like funny um, acro shots from using the drone like from above as if like Jeremy was carrying me. But the drone isn't working because of magnetic something or other. So I think we're going to have a walk around. Oh, that's a big bird. I think we're going to have a walk around the design district and take a couple of pictures. And then walk down to Wynwood and get some donuts from Salty Donut, which is the best place in Miami. Um, and then we're not sure about this evening, so we'll see. But I'll take you along um, for the journey. We'll see where we get up to. So then we walked around the design district a little bit and took some photographs, which I'll stick here. You'll be seeing them on my Instagram anyway. If you don't follow me, it's at rosieandre underscore com. And then we walked to Wynwood and had a walk around there. So we went and got donuts first at the Salty Donut, which is our favourite thing to do in Miami because they're delicious. And we actually got two to eat yesterday and we got two to eat today after our barbecue. So I'm super excited to have them later on today. And then we walked up through Wynwood and looked around the Wynwood walls just to see if there was anything new. Um, I don't think there was, I think we'd seen everything there before, but it's always good fun going there anyway. We had a look around some of the back streets because they tend to change more often than the windward walls. They probably change, you know, every couple of months or something. So we saw a couple of new pieces that we liked. And then we went to Vezessure for a drink. <clears throat> it's the only place in the world that I drink a beer because I don't like beers otherwise anywhere ever. But they have one called Lulu Sour that I really like. And I think they've got a new one actually, it's, it looks, it's called like Flo J or something. 
Flojo. And I think it's orange beer, which I think could be really nice. So maybe I'll try that next time. But anyway, um, if you don't like beer, go to Vezisure and get the Lulu Sour because it's yummy. But we went there and played some games. We played um, some like letterboard. It's called Bananagram. And you basically spell out words. It's a bit like Scrabble, but you play your own game. And it's the first to lose all the letters wins. And then we also played What the Meme. No, What Do You Mean? Which is such a funny game. I'll insert some like here as well so you can see them. But we were like cracking up laughing with that. It's so funny to play with too, but it's better obviously with more people as well. Then we went to a place called Astra. So it's a rooftop bar in Wynwood, and a lot of Wynwood is very kind of hip and cool and edgy. Well, this place is like the posh part of Wynwood. So it's quite expensive. Cocktails are like $15. Although Jeremy had a lemonade and that was $3, I think, so that was pretty good. But anyway, we went up there and watched the sunset, which was really nice, and it's got beautiful, like, twinkling lights, and there was a wedding party there and another party and people all around the bar, and just a really nice area and a really nice place for a drink after you've been walking around Windward. So we went there, and then we got a taxi, well, an Uber, to Amdiamo, I think it's called. It's a pizza place. Um, I don't know if this is 100% true, but I think it's the best pizza place in Miami. I'm about to run out of battery, so... Um, anyway, best pizza ever, it was delicious, and if you go there, make sure you get the, uh, what was it, ratatouille, the ratatouille one was delicious, and then we came home, and now we're on to today, so, that was my rundown from yesterday, so I thought it was a bit rambly, but today we just went and walked the dog, Jeremy's making pancakes, I think we're going to watch a film and eat pancakes, it's a bit grey outside, and then the plan was to go for a barbecue, but I don't know, it seems a bit windy and maybe a bit cold, so I don't know if we'll do that or not, we'll see. Um, just have a nice relaxing day together basically. So came out for the barbecue it's a little bit windy today but where we are in the park it's protected by a lot of trees so it's actually fine um, it's a little bit cold obviously I've got my jumper on um, but yeah it's fine it's nice so we had some music on here but I've just paused it Jeremy's busy there he's making the burgers and asparagus and then we've got like all our burger stuff on the table it's so nice we really need to do this more often and I was just saying to Jeremy we actually need to do this for the daybreaker crew the ones that volunteer I think that'd be so nice to come here with like some music and a couple of tables and barbecues and especially because it's right next to the beach and there's loads of free parking close by. So it's the perfect spot. If you ever want to come here by the way, it's on Collins and like 79th up until 85th. On the right hand side next to the beach there's a huge park, there's like two dog parks, I don't know how many barbecue stations with the benches um, and obviously the beach and lifeguard towers. So it's a really nice place for um, family get togethers, for birthdays, for friends. Um, yeah we love it. So. We've been eating already some chips and hummus. That's almost empty. later now I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos I know this video was a little bit all over the place and on Saturday in Winwood I didn't particularly talk a lot I still find it hard to vlog in public I try um, but yeah I do find it hard but that is definitely something I want to improve on for this week's vlog so please stick with me keep watching the videos keep supporting me and I'll try I promise I'll do better so I just want to tell you about Sunday night as well, just to finish it off so you know exactly what happened for the rest of the weekend. So we finished the barbecue, went back home and had a pretty chilled evening, we watched a film. I think we ate leftover pizza from Saturday night, just had a really nice time together relaxing and back to work and back to normal life again on Monday. 
again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye